Welcome to the Mushroom Cult. Today we have a eight day old spore inoculation and we are going to remove different sectors on specific colonies and put them on new plates in order to isolate a single strain. So this is a multi-spore inoculation on an auger plate where I took some spores off of a spore print and smeared them across the surface of the auger plate with an inoculation loop and eight days later the colonies have developed and there is a, a zone of inhibition around many of them so they're not growing together which shows me that they're incompatible and that they might be single isolated strains. So the key is now is to take a single colony and put it on a single plate so that you don't have a mix of genetics. What I'm doing here is just uh, carefully flaming my blade and cooling off the blade in the plate, the clean plate. And then I'm looking in here and seeing which one has a leading edge where I see vigorous mycelium that I'll be able to separate from the rest of the plate. In theory, I would be able to isolate something from each one of those colonies, but I'm really just going for a handful of the easiest pieces and I'm putting it right in the center. And you'll see, I'll do this again, I'll flame my blade, and I'll go back to the initial spore inoculation, and I'll look for an easily accessed leading edge after I cool my blade in the clean receiving plate. So as I lift the lid, I'll be looking for easily accessed leading edge of mycelium, and that one looked like it was the easiest one to, um, to access. So I'm just pulling up a small piece, smaller the better, you really only need one cell. So these are quite large pieces actually. So there I have four different colonies. Thanks for joining the Mushroom Cult. You can follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and at our website, mushroomcult.net.